Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome to Spongebob and Nicktoons Globs of Doom. The nostalgia games are coming back to the channel. I'm coming at y'all with the game that I got for my 8th birthday back in 2019. And I remember it like it's yesterday, so. Little story time, okay? So, during my 8th birthday, me and my family were in Walmart in the electronics section because I told my mom that I wanted a certain Spongebob game that I saw in an advertisement on a Spongebob DVD that I had that was like from a whole lot of years ago. Keep in mind that it was an entirely different game, a much older game, and my dumbass was expecting to find that old ass game in Walmart that only sold, you know, the newest stuff at the time. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I saw this game on the shelf and I saw that it had Spongebob on it and I assumed that that was the game that I was looking for. And I was like, hey ma, this is it chief. And then when I played it for the first time later that day, it actually wasn't the game that I was looking for, but I was still hooked nonetheless. I accidentally bumped my hand against the table. Ow. Uh, anyway, this is basically a crossover game of various Nicktoons cartoons. Or not Nicktoons. I don't think Nicktoons was a thing back in the day. Back when this game came out, at least. I think it was Nickelodeon. Yeah. Various Nickelodeon cartoons working together to stop an extraterrestrial threat called the Morphoids, which are what we're seeing right here. Now, to be honest, this game is actually pretty short and it's full of glitches and the gameplay is pretty fucking linear, but I'm still playing it because I want that nostalgia and I know all of y'all do too. So let's start playing. This is the Wii version that I am playing by way of Dolphin Emulator on my PC. I don't have a Wii remote on me. I got the controls as being keyboard and mouse. I did do a little test run of this game, right? It's working perfectly fine, absolutely flawlessly, fully functional besides a few glitches and crashes here and there, but it's okay. I'm gonna start a new game. It's my only option to anyways, because the, the save file that my test run was on got corrupted and that's got me worried. Making a whole bunch of progress in the game only for it to be corrupted just like that. I don't even know what caused it, but I hope we don't run into problems like that. I don't wanna put that out there. So, new game. Alright, so our story begins in the deepest reaches of space. The Morphoids are pulling up to Earth. We are in Bikini Bottom. You got Spongebob and Squidward. Ah, Squidward. What a day. What Squidward a being life. his usual miserable self. If I didn't have to go to work. Isn't this just a great day? If you hate the job so much, why, why, why don't you quit, Squidward? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good. Morphoids are controlling him now. When the goo falls on you. That's what happens. what's happening? What is this stuff? I don't know, Patrick. But whatever you do, don't let it touch you! Well, I'm trying not to. Why? That's why. What are we gonna do? Uh, how about y'all run? Jimmy Neutron! Hey, Jimmy Quick, Neutron! The portal. Wait, what about Squidward? You can only help by coming with me to Volcano Island! Now! Alright, and that's how the Morphoid invasion starts. The Look at the graphics where? of these cutscenes. Don't touch that! I haven't figured out what it does yet. I've established our makeshift headquarters here. How can we need headquarters? We're all under attack. Jimmy's Danny Phantom. Mine and Amity Park. Even I don't know Nunu. what they did to his All character in this game. Technus. We got some Europe villains gorgeous. here. Trailer. Langton? Yes, yes, you know us. Okay, let's be civil. I invited the evil syndicate here for a reason. But they're evil. How could you be so sure the evil syndicate are evil? It's literally in their name. The name's a dead giveaway. Yeah, exactly. All our homes are threatened. The only way to defeat this enemy is to join forces. We've all got to work together on this <laughs> Me and Dan will help too. Invader Zim. You're joining our side? I am a superior life form from the planet Earth. I'm not evil. Just uh, uh, curious. I mean, in the show he's from, he's You're literally trying to take over side? the Earth. I fight aliens. If Zim's over there, then I'm over here. Okay, so we're all working yeah. together to stop this stuff. What do you got? We've been tracking them for a while now. They're called Morphoids. Oh, visitors. I, I didn't hear the doorbell. You don't know how this thing works, do you? Magu technology. 
It's old, but if I can get the sequence right, I think I can adapt it to help us fight the Morphoids. So, what do you do when you're not being a hero? On my off time, I practice the ancient art of juju. Sounds like you've got it working. A bubble blow wand! I'm ready! With irradiated bubble solution. Impressive! It scans your molecular makeup to create a custom weapon embedded with Magu technology. A personality scan with weapons to match? I'm next! All right, hit it here, boy. A megaphone? <laughs> a cheerleader? This is some powerful juju. Light me up! Whoa! Magu okay, now that's actually cool. Well, What's that, a staff? For the goo. Come on! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Let's save Bikini Bottom! Oh my god, those cutscenes are very, very mildly cringy, but... You're not too fast. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to swing at the crab. Okay. So, uh, we're playing as Spongebob. Those graphics in, in that cutscene, they looked so good, but... It's something that we never got to see because there's only, uh, I think, a Nintendo DS version, PlayStation 2, which is what I played on back in the day, and the Wii version, which is what I'm playing right now by way of Dolphin Emulator. So they never got the Xbox or PS3 versions up and running for this game. I wonder what happened. We're going to learn how to play, although I already remember how to play. All right, we got a double jump. We got to get all these coins. You know, you got a ground pound like that on the buttons. I'm moving so fast through the tutorial that the dialogue's not keeping up. You see that? Okay. Like I said, gameplay is very linear. This is how the whole game plays. Like you're just following a set path that the game made for you to follow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, day. Okay. We got another button here. Ground button. slam. Use things like vines to climb and higher ladders to climb up. Good job. So these characters, they know each other because there are some other games before this where, you know, all these characters had a crossover. Excellent. Now this is my favorite part of the game right here. We got the ability to break shit. And we can get more coins. The coins are vital because with the coins, we can upgrade our characters, upgrade our health right here. We can also upgrade the ground pound range. And we can also upgrade how strong our attacks are. We can upgrade them so much to where we can just straight up one shot the Morphoids. You know? All right. Just a little more. You gotta press and hold to pull levers. You break all these boxes before I grab this gold coin right here. Well, actually, I still grab it anyways. No one saw. All right. All right. Now we're starting off with the levels. No one saw. We're um, all three of these portals go into bikini bottom levels. We got two regular levels right here, and this last one over here is the boss fight. You know, I just remembered. I did not ever finish around the clock at Bikini Bottom, did I? SpongeBob's getting impatient because I'm just sitting around. I gotta bring that series back too. Because that's such a good game too, and I'm doing it fucking dirty by not finishing it. Alright, so what we got right here is a fun part. We're surfing. Where we're going through the portal, we're surfing through the, the portal on our way to the level. This is like a nice little mini game to get you hyped up and settled in before the level starts, I guess. Of course, the only thing you can touch is the ramps, not the walls or anything, because you're gonna die and you're gonna lose hella coins, and you don't want that. Also, another thing I've noticed what, what are we even surfing on anyway? What is this, lean? Oh man, and this game is intended for kids and they got us surfing on lean. You know, it's already strange enough that we're underwater. 
You know, we're surfing underwater already, but we're also on lean. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. But it's a video game. It's not supposed to make sense. So we're loading into the first level now. Where the fuck are our weapons? Ah, I love Krabby Patties. That's Bubble Bass. This is going to be our first boss of the game. No! Yeah. And he just eats that damn thing anyway like a dumbass. He ingested more Floyd Goo. And now they got him too. Dumbassery at its finest. So now, we're learning some more shit about the game by going into the field. I think all these Bikini Bottom levels, their purpose is to give the player a feel for the game. Alright. We're in the neighborhood. We're in front of the main three right here. Patrick's house, Squidward's house, and Spongebob's house. Oh, by the way, let me go back to Patrick's house because there's a little secret here. Well, you can't leave me here without a snack. So besides Patrick, on top of his rock, minding his own business. Not, not on top of his rock, he's stuck on his rock like a true starfish would be. Minding his own business, and what we got here is a little trophy. Okay, so the, there's two of these in every level, except for boss fights. Collect all of them, you can unlock cheat codes. Alright, press Z to use your gadget. Well, for me, playing on a keyboard and mouse, I got that control binded to shift. Okay. These guys aren't threatening at all, by the way. Not not those kinds of morphoids, they're, they go down in one hit. You know, they're nice little easy enemies to uh, get started with the game with. Alright, I'm gonna break everything. Because I want all the coins I can get out of this level. You cannot jump or, or move in sticky goo. What did I step in? You cannot jump or move quickly in the goo. Like, you see this right here? I can't jump. And... Yeah, it's like quicksand or something. There's a lot of that in the game. Super irritating. Okay, we're gonna start encountering tougher Morphoids in a little bit. I got a nice little strategy that I can use, though, to deal with them. I know, right? Okay. Now, these guys, they actually don't go down in one hit, and they look pretty tough. And look at those big-ass hands they got. Look at them. Just by their demeanor, they are itching to throw hands. However, by using my gadget, which turns these Morphoids into bubbles, I can just one-shot them. And there's a lot of characters in this game whose gadgets have the ability to just completely immobilize the enemy and also make them, you know, one-hit kill. So by playing as those characters, that's how you can cheese the game. You see, he's immobilized, and you can just kill him in one hit. A lot of characters with gadgets that do that, so my strategy is to keep playing as those, and that's how I can cheese the game. Because uh, otherwise, if you don't do that, this game is um, pretty repetitive with just, you know, clicking the attack button over and over again. This game is just going to be a simulation of pressing the attack button over and over. Which, if you ask me, is boring as hell. Ow. And there's no block either. You can't block the attacks. But they can block yours, you see? How is that fair? So you're going to see me spamming my gadgets a lot in this game. Avoid entering deep goo. It's going to cause you to lose your coins. Keep in mind that we're underwater, by the way. This really doesn't look like it. I guess people that are doing SpongeBob media always tend to forget that we're underwater. I'll show you guys in a second. You know that thing where they turn into a goo engine and just slide across the floor? Those motherfuckers right there. You see, they do that a lot. And when they do, they're completely invulnerable. But see, just use your gadget on them, and it'll completely pull them out of that. So the, the gadget is the key to making your life easier in this game. Alright, see, I got some more of the gadget meter back. But they are kicking my ass. It's this thing. I gotta get rid of this. This thing is just spawning more swords like crazy. You gotta destroy it. And it'll turn into a trampoline. See? God damn it. I, I missed three shots. How did I miss three shots? 
Oh man, I am so bad. So we got two little health things right there. Let me get those, because I need that. Those Morphoids fucked me up pretty good. Ow. Gotta go back to breaking stuff. I'm gonna take out this trash can here. We got a bus. We got some abandoned cars over here. Everybody dipped after the Morphoids pulled up and invaded. And that bus just dropped off more Morphoids. Okay. And even more of them. Now that sound they make is so annoying. I always found it annoying. But on the bright side, they're easy to kill. Now check this out, guys. We got... The biggest type of Morphoid in the game right here. They are killable too, by the way. It's just that we're not going to kill any in Bikini Bottom. We got to go to other locations like Zim's place, I did not mean or Retroville, that. Jimmy Neutron's place, or Amity Park, which is Ooh, Danny Phantom's place. place. Oh yeah, special place. There's a little secret right here. Oh, oh shit. I'm ready. I'm ready. Where the fuck did these guys come from? Did Beautiful Gorgeous just say that the shoes are imported? That's not good. Okay, so I just got a power-up that lets me one-shot everything. It's gonna wear out, though. And it just did. Oh, wait. Health. I can get that. There we go. I can't get to fight this thing because of the invisible wall. And again, we're not supposed to. It's the first level. We get to fight those things later on in the game. They're gonna start being a regular appearance. After... Bikini Bottom. Except you'll only get to fight one in every level. Just one. That's it. But again, they're not that hard to kill either. Let's grab this... This stuff here. Let's grab these coins here. Trash the trash bag. Ah, uh, yeah, I actually did. Alright, and homeboy right here is dipping. He's going straight through buildings. You see? <laughs> I remember most of the secrets in this game. I went over there because I remember there was a golden coin there. And I want to collect the golden coins. Okay, hold up. Let me get rid of this. Can I destroy this sign? No, I can't. There's an invisible wall there. Once again, the game is very linear. You're going to see a lot of invisible walls. What the fuck is this guy doing? Is he bouncing on the trampoline? Oh, he sure is. He sure is. Let me knock him off of there. Alright. What's up? What's up, huh? What the fuck is up? Alright. Ow. You motherfucker. I was trying to turn him into a bubble. But these one-hit kill cannon father motherfuckers got in my way. That's nice. Alright. Now we're going down a drain. We gotta break everything in here. What? I did not We're in the sewers. There's another one of those hidden trophies close by also. So I'm gonna get those. Nope. Or not. Well, look what we have here. Over there is uh, just a hidden golden coin. But the hidden trophy ball. is around here. We just gotta go over this. Go around. I don't need that health, I'm already at full health. And here it is, and we also got a smiley face made out of the coins. That's cute. We'll trash the treasure chest. Get the shield, even though I probably don't need it. Get all these coins here. Oh, look at that, I do need the shield. And there's more, more foils back there, but I'm just gonna ignore them. But we got a bigger task at hand. We're coming up on the end of this level. Ow. Oh, I got that power-up that lets me one-shot everything. Provided they stop blocking. God damn, they keep coming. Where are they coming from? Alright. Break these. Go up here. You're now in the chum bucket. 
Let me get all the coins and break everything too. Did I do that? Because again, we're in the chum bucket now. So Plankton deserves all of this, and he's in this game too. He's a playable character. We're out here trashing the chum bucket. And there's Karen. Hey Karen. Okay. She sounds very happy to see me. I'm the lifeblood of her husband's rival. Did I do that? Which is Mr. Krabs and the Krusty Krab. Did I do Mr. Krabs must have a hole in his pocket. Are y'all getting tired of the dialogue yet? I sure am. Okay. Activate. Press the button. It opens that. It's an exit. Wait, no, it's just a kitchen. Ow. 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 I'm getting gangbanged. Alright, oh no, they got Gary. It's not safe to rescue him just yet. Rescue your friends to open a portal back to the Magu lair. Can I go through here? Nope. I forgot that, you know, you can't go through there. But it was good to try anyways. Alright, Gary. Get on out of here. He's gonna teleport away, so we're good. You are free! Yeah, Gary's free. And now we're done with the level. You blasted crustacean. Watch where you're walking. Sorry, little one. You're so small, I hardly saw you. Little one, out of my way. You will bow to Plankton eventually. A hammer? I don't want a hammer. Don't be so one-eyed about it. The Magu enhancement means that you've got something you always wanted. But this isn't the Krabby Patty secret recipe. No, size. Yes, now I can crush my enemies and take over You're the You're not that big, though, Plankton. <laughs> Go ahead and pull that ego down just a little bit, you see? <laughs> He's big enough to not Time be to dead weight. Show you how it's done. They a gave my boy a balloon launcher. launcher. <laughs> oh, after you save the universe, you can make a living doing kids parties. Oh, now Zim's turn. Give me my Watch this. A plunger? Not just any plunger. This is the plunger of doom! Come on, the chum bucket's in danger. Best weapon in the game right there, the plunger of doom. Hell yeah! All right, and now we're playing as Jimmy Neutron and Plankton. This game is two-player, by the way, but it's just going to be me playing this game. And also, we can switch characters, too, whenever we want. I want to play as Plankton, and I can if I want to because, you know, character switching. See? I didn't mean to break that. I love All right. Yeah, now that I'm a bad guy, I have a perfect excuse to break stuff. So I'm gonna break this shit too. And I wasn't paying attention, but I already know this because I'm pretty familiar with this game anyways. I got good memory. Most of the time. But anyways, with these coins, you can take them down here to the upgrade machine. Purchase player upgrades here. All right, attack level one. I've got more attack damage now. You see that? You can also do slam attack range and your health meter, which I'm going to upgrade next. Uh, we'll gadget upgrades. Gadget meter level 1. Magu charge level 1. Gadget slam attack time. Oh no, it's gadget attack time. I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, I can afford it. So let me actually buy this upgrade right now. And that'll be it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. From what I've seen online, this game seems to be pretty fucking forgotten, so... Me actually finishing this game will be dependent on how well this video and the next video on this game does. Speaking of next video, we're gonna be doing the second level in Bikini Bottom and the boss fight, which is super easy. And at that point, we'll be done with the Bikini Bottom levels, and we're gonna be ready to move into Zim's Town, so stay tuned. With that being said, I know for a fact that I've been rambling for long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Keep wearing those masks. Keep washing those hands like there's no tomorrow. Take care.
stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.